The last part of this series of posts about Sigfox it's uh, the code to read the, the data from the Sigfox network to from this sorry from the Dynamo DB, DB to our web page. So basically right now we have this um this kind of information I received from the Sigfox network and it's saved here. And since we have I had three sensor, I decided to send three messages separated by a uh, this is the 3B. So there are three values from the three sensor in one message. Remember that the that you can send all only um, um, 12 bytes for per message on the Sigfox network. So and I sent three nine bytes right now but they are converted in some way and they I received this kind of information so what I have done here is to uh, create I created a um, code on OJS with to to and a web page to in order to translate the data uh, to to sorry to query the documents DB and uh, receive some data. Uh, first of all, you have to do mm, configure the AWS. So this is an Amazon. Um, um, this is an Amazon H2. Um, mm, sorry. <laughs> Um, host and um, okay, you have to do to follow this instruction in order to set up your account and configure all this stuff. Once you have done it, you have to. I created this this software. Okay, you have launch this this script and follow the instruction. It's easy enough so you have to open a yam console and follow the copy the instruction the side version but it's easy and once you have done that this script allows you to connect to the dynamo db you have so in the previous videos and then you can create an expression in order to query the Sigfox table I had. And um, this basically said to read information for this device. Of course you can create a better query but it's uh, it's okay for, for the kind of information I, I have. So to, to get all this uh, information limit one result and to have the result from the last one to the so in this way I take the most recent data and on, when I do slash plant data on this server what I have is this um, I do the query and once the query is done I create a response so I basically check if each item received from the query even if it's just only one and then I parse the data and the data is exactly like in the JSON so, uh, you see in the DynamoDB so this this same exact exact uh, data you have it's a item and you have the payload and inside the payload there's the data so that's why I do okay let's go up that's why here I do this for each is like data is the response and then items and for each item 
I do element, this one item, and I get the payload, and I get, and I then split the data to 3B, and then I created a very stupid code to decode the, the trade 3Data, and then I send back a JSON to my device. So, and this is the just the JSON. And if I want to see the code, okay, and I do go. All this stuff will be released soon on this part. And actually, you can go to to see it. Um, oops. Let's see later this one and this plant data. You will see this JSON. So there is the device, all these devices, and for each device I have, there is sensor one, sensor two, sensor three, and three for information. The status is about if I have some problem connecting to the database. So, but this is not very cool to see. So right now it's this is better. It's a um, Angular JS page. And I translate the information. Um, so if we go here, there is a static on no public under public. There is this index, and I'm sorry it's just one file, but but because I don't want to spend more time on this, and this is a little Angular application. And what I do here is just do an HTTP request here, asking plant data that we see the JSON we see, and when I receive the information, I just update on a variable, and then there is a, a filter that translate all your all the stuff in the emoji and uh, with the score received. What what what? So you can see. So thanks to tool. Um. Bye bye. Let's see in the next project.